Hey, Dana. I just wanted to get you a little video. I'm about to meet Dana. She's bringing Koa. We're at Shields in Sandy. We love this store, and it's a halfway meeting point between the two of us. So we will have to come to Sandy to work dogs. Um, so I want to get her in a little bit of a training mindset. And Dana is too. I see her up here. Um, before we get in a store, um, the biggest thing for these dogs, we're going to get her under the sidewalk here in a minute where it's a little bit cooler on her feet. But the biggest thing for Maple is just priming her and getting her in the training mindset before we go in. So any change in location, whether it's like you're going on a walk or you're, you're leaving your car or you're going into the building, typically excitement will set in. Oh, <laughs> Um, and so typically excitement sets in and so we want to make sure that we prime. Dana just came with Koa. The little baby girls coming today. We're all getting out on a field trip. So one thing I want to work on is just changing directions with her to really see if she's engaged with me. So Dana does the same thing with Koa. We change directions as a little bit of a test. So we'll turn into her one way, make sure she's healing with us. One thing that we really want to shape is the position of the heel so i don't want um either dog to be too far ahead of me too far behind me um i don't want them necessarily to be too far out or too close um come on girl i want her to stay in position good right there some other things we'll work on is some sits and downs so koa's doing a down stay here one with maple good job maple down good girl so we have people coming and going yeah Koa's doing really good a little distracted needs a little bit of a reminder with the e-collar but it's like the nice thing about the e-collar language is we can really promote that um, training language we're staying really consistent with our training style and it just helps transfer with things at home um, and things in um, public. So really, really good. Oh, you're gonna take a nap? She's like, I'm tired. We've done a lot today. Good job. Good job, Koa. Maple heel. Do a little healing with her. I really look at her shoulders. So a lot of people ask me what a good heel position should look like. So every dog has diff a different structure and every person has a different walk. So we have to kind of bridge these two pictures together. She's different structurally than other dogs and I'm gonna walk a little bit differently than you. And so one thing I look at is her shoulder. So if I turn left into her, I don't necessarily want her crowding me. If I turn right this way, she's gotta keep her shoulder generally with my knee. You know, and if a dog is smaller, then I look at my calf. But if a dog is bigger, I look at my thigh. So depending on, you know, just generally with my leg, with her shoulder. And um, yeah, Koa practicing a sit stay. Really, really good. Good job, buddy. Good. Yes. So good. 